，大家好，我是冬青。如果说这次前往马来西亚古晋的世界两爬学大会是去东方取经，那么我要取的第一本真经就是这本《厄瓜多尔爬行类图鉴》了。这个国家啊，你可能不熟，但加拉帕戈斯你一定听说过。没错，加拉帕戈斯群岛就是厄瓜多尔的。岛上的海蝶溪大陆龟的知名度应该不用我再说了。除此之外，厄瓜多尔还是爬行类大国。而现在，我终于不用上网查不靠谱的资料了。当地近五百个物种的阵容都在这本书里了，特别是那些都没多少人见过的蛇类和蜥蜴，他们都拍到了。去年听说这个项目后，我就成为了赞助人之一。我也和作者约好，在这次大会碰面，领取这本属于我的全亚洲首本签名版。而你接下来看到的内容，可能也是全网首发的独家访谈，真的值得你的三连和转发。因为本书主编 Alejandro a t i a g a 也愿意为我的观众介绍创作这本精美巨著的背后故事。Finally published the reptiles of Ecuador book. We actually received the first 300 copies, some of which we brought to the Congress. I'm here with Kaiki. I have to say thank you for the support. We couldn't have done it otherwise because, as you know, we didn't get any sort of major publishing support, so we actually crowdfunded this whole project. Finally, it is ready. It's 1,080 pages, covering 500 species of reptiles in Ecuador, including the Galapagos. So it's, a, as you can see, quite a heavy book. We are known for this kind of style of white background photography, and not many people know the amount of effort that goes into producing each and every one of these、uh, illustrations. What we want is to create this、uh, whole variation: juveniles, males, different parts of Ecuador, and for the adult species, getting the dewlap up also. That's something that we were committed to do. Of course, we have all the maps. Each one is a verified locality record. So we are really we're happy that it's finally、uh, it's finally out.、It、took、uh, many years of hard work, as you know. Now finally exists. In physical form, so yeah, yeah. Ah, super happy moment, really. And what best place in the world, World Congress of Herpetology, to promote this book? Could you tell me about some difficult things when you're writing this book? Many. Okay, so let me think. I would say that the finding some of the most difficult species took a lot of effort. Let me give you an example. So、uh, this is the Emerald Tree Boa. I have spent. 14, no, almost 20 years exploring the jungles of the Amazon. I have never seen this species, the Emerald Tree Boa. So rare, lives 40 meters up in the canopy. Never. So, how do we find photographs? For example, is here in the case of this one, someone called us. This was photographed in a zoo in another country. So sometimes you have to, you just don't find them. The Pinky One expedition was the most expensive expedition, so it took an entire an entire crew of people going to this remote island, trying to find this animal, going by boat, getting the permits, hiking for three days to get this picture. This is where it lives. One volcano, which was an active, a couple hundred individuals who were extremely lucky to find some of these. So yeah, that that was hard. If you ask me, every species has a different challenge. Getting the permits was hard. Getting each and every one of the animals in the exact same position was also a challenge. The Pinocchio、yeah, yeah, is it must be lived to be extinct for 50 years. We rediscovered the population in Mindo. Then we now we we, we haven't. So it's a、uh, the book is still. As a project,、uh, it's made it possible to find many species that are extinct. Other are new species, so it's a life project, I have to say. So you can imagine this project being like、uh, finding all the Pokémon. Some of the rare ones we had to do like ten, twelve expeditions, all failed, and on the thirteen, we find it. So many of us, for example, my friend Jose. Let me show you.、Uh, oh, you know every page. <laughs> oh yes, I actually want to show you the turtles.、Uh-huh. Because、um, let's see, my friend Jose almost lost his life for taking a specific picture. Actually, 
Mata Mata, he almost drowned finding this animal. He saw it in a river and uh, he went into the... It was a big, yeah, big river, Amazon River. He saw the turtle swimming, plunged. He tried to get the turtle out, but the turtle had a fishing hook, hook line. Something was dragging the turtle. And he was trying to get the turtle out while swimming. The turtle like this, was, he went out of breath. And the boat was far away because there's a strong current. The way he, he, he did it is basically, he just wanted to put the turtle on top of him. You may ask why we do this, why risk your life for a turtle, for a picture, but I don't know, when you are so focused on getting the, the photos or getting the book complete, you forget about everything else. With the coral snakes in particular, we have some cool stories because these are the coral snakes. Coral snakes. Yeah. Highly venomous uh -huh. snakes in a cloud. Sometimes when you see one of these, and you might see once every ten years. And it's, and it's not it's not like you see them in the open and it's easy to catch. You might see especially some of these uh, very rare coral snakes. You might you might be walking in the forest at night after a rain and you see something moving real fast among the roots. And all you want to do is go grab it immediately. Because otherwise, you have to wait another 10 years until oh it goes up again. It's crazy. So it's like, okay, I, I risk my life for this snake. To say I'm me, well, listen, yes. Because, you know, when it, when, when is it going to show up again? And this is how this book was done. Uh, every image has a story. It's one, one of the first binocular lizards we found. This is the, the Christmas morph of the Galapagos marine iguana. It took us a while to capture this specimen. It was huge. We have uh, the first emerald tree boa that a friend found in Ecuador. This is easy. I think one of the few that was easy to find near near the Quito, actually. So, as I said, if you ask me, every map, every picture, Every snake has a specific uh, story behind it. Now you see everything is like neatly arranged, but uh, now I can sit with the friends and say, oh, we did all of this, we have all of the stories, the behind the scenes, the expeditions, and now this exists in physical form for everyone to see. And together, Jose and me, almost, also drowned trying to find a different species of silky Galapagos, a sea turtle. Yeah, we saw this one, plunged after it, tried to grab it, but it was so hard and we, both of us went out of breath real quick, so we almost drowned taking right the picture. Well, basically what I'm trying to say is that we gave our lives for this project and almost lose it, but it's worth, it was worth it. I, I feel extremely proud that we produced this book with so many help from friends, uh, from supporters, because now we can make a lot of people happy and many people in Ecuador are gonna be using this book for science, for conservation, for tourism. And it gives me enormous pleasure to be able to finally say that it's finished, it's complete. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. 好，感谢 Alejandro 的慷慨分享。感兴趣的观众可以尝试通过他们的官网购买。实在买不到的话，也欢迎你购买屏幕框下的蛇类和蛙类博物馆来解馋。这里也有很多厄瓜多尔的物种。